So did Abdullah and Masud Nabi and Kaab, but they disagreed about what it was. So Ham, Uthman yeah. and Abdullah ibn, ibn Kaab disagreed with Quran? Yes, uh, Ubay ibn Kaab had 116 surahs in his codex. Yeah, yeah. The Sana manuscript. All right. That's by Shabi Ali, an Islamic yeah, well, scholar. I can listen to him. I can oh, listen wow. To him. Wait, Play the Sana manuscript. Play. Was the Quran perfectly yeah. preserved? I'm going to look for wow, it. Wow, it's can... almost as if no. I was telling the truth the no. whole time. No, you it's superior. It's more Why clear. Why is it superior? It's, listen, it's more clear. It yeah, wasn't no even mistake. written when he was there. Dude, it was, listen, the, the Quran was not written in the time of Jesus. But the Yeah, but he stretched it. The thing is, you why am I stretching it? You're stretching it because no, when no, I, say I gave you an answer from difference. scripture, Listen, and you didn't like the answer I gave. Son. No, two people are called son. I son of you. God. Listen, yes. Two people are called son of God. Yeah, many why? people call son of God yeah. in different why? contexts. There are many sons of God, but there is only one, the Son of God, which okay, is Jesus Christ, the, the Messiah. The, you are the, yeah. the Son. No, no, so you are a the, Son of hey, God. Hey, here is the, what the Christians believe about Jesus. Jesus why are you telling me? Yeah, yeah. But, which is what's in the Bible. From Jesus scripture, yeah, that we've read. Begotten, the begotten Son of God. The only begotten Son. The only begotten. Yes, John 3, 16. And I just showed you, okay. he's not the only because... Uniquely David, begotten Son. Uniquely, no. Okay, so is, is King David uncreated? You want to change the words? Is, no, no, no. You want to change the words of the there Bible? There are two now? potential translations, uniquely. either unique no, uh, Son no, that's or only very, begotten no, Son. In the Bible, in, in, in the King James Version of yes, the Bible, yes. it says begotten Son. Are you familiar okay. with the, the potential range of translations in John 3, 16? Oh, so you want to translate it to a different one now? I'm talking academically, are you yeah, aware of that? You want to translate it differently. You see, if you're not aware of the academic discussion, so, then how are you proclaiming the truth? Because you don't know yourself. Oh, so you, <coughs> if you know, I do, explain yes, I've studied the difference it. between David being called Son of God right. and Jesus being called Son of God. I just explained to you okay, from that, other stuff. that there are different kinds of Son of God. David was a Son of God. Yes, so he was David anointed was and elevated. Son of God. No, he no. is the begotten Son of no, God. No, he is a begotten no, Son of God. I have begotten thee, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so Today you, you have become... So yeah, wait, wait, yeah. so Listen. you agree that David is begotten Son of God? Prophecy, yeah, but he is not the begotten Son of God, who is the uncreated word. Look at that. Look at that. But Look see, I gave you an example, but you don't the like it. About, he's, about he's, he's answered no. the question, no. he's, he's answered now. No. Now he's can he ask you way. a question? Now he's answered a question that he couldn't answer. No. In a we different way to what he's I gave you an answer, you don't like the answer. All three of you. Now I have given you an answer. All three of you answered it different. all on camera. But you all answered it different. We all answered the same. We all answered the same scripture. You there are many, there, the there is a plethora picture. of, are no, you don't running away? Now, don't run away. You're gonna, you're gonna don't run question, away. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave you an answer. I said to you, okay. if he can no. answer my question. And I gave you an answer. Question. You don't like the answer. Listen, you don't like the answer. answer. That's your problem. Listen, yes, I've answered. You answered my question one way. He answered my question. Yes, answered. Answered my question, one way. Answered my question. Because there's a plethora. His reasons are correct for the same reasons mine are correct. Because there's an entire plethora of reasons. We quoted the same Do you know how many books there are in the Old Testament? You can quote many different books. The entire, Isaiah 53. Isaiah wait, wait, wait. 9, uh, 9. Many, Psalm you told 22. Me how many is there? You just said how many is there? How many? I'm asking you since you know. 44 books. 44 books. I believe. How many about, in your I may have mistaken. Okay, how many in the Listen, current yeah. Bible? How many in How many books are there in the current Bible? There are yeah. 60 books. 6. 66. 66, 66. sorry, that's the one. Yeah. 14 now. Of the Old Testament. Yeah. Remove 14 books removed in 1881. In 1681. Why? What? Wait, what what do you want to do with the Son of God? No, 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 you're changing no, the topic to you, into something that we're not talking about. I'm trying to say to you, all the books you have. This right. is deviation. Uh, no, it's not deviation because you're basing. Okay, your if you talk about this, no, no, I'm going to talk about Islam and Islam's you history. Can, you can tell to me. I'm okay. listening okay. to you. How many stories are in the Quran? I'm going to listen. Oh, Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, okay, okay. Let's name do it. When you have. When you have, how you doing? You're listening to your. Good to see you, man. All right. Yeah. Okay. Go, go on, are you guys together or something? No, no, no. He's, he's, a, he's, he's a Muslim. I, I assume no you're a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. No okay, so I'm trying to say to you. Yeah. Your basin, yeah. Bible, and all the information you're giving me, mm. on a book yeah. written 500 years after Jesus. No, it wasn't. <laughs> when was it? When was it real? <laughs> written, yeah, recorded. It was, it was recorded. We have a complete copy from 325 AD. After Jesus. So, after Jesus. Yeah? After yeah, Jesus, after Jesus died, yeah. Okay, 300 yeah. years after Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That's a complete yeah. copy. We have fragments yeah. that go all the way back to potentially the first century. I'm no. listening to this. Yes, there, there is an yeah, yeah, John P52. John of 1831. John is the last book. I don't think I've studied You're aware of that. Yeah, chronologically, I'm talking manuscripts. John is the last Do you know what a manuscript is? Okay, so what's the earliest manuscript we have? Well, you think it's John? Yes, it is John. Academically, it's P52. Do you know this? 
Listen, listen, if you're going to talk about things you don't know. No, 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 no. You're making a claim. John, John is the last written book. After this conversation, but go but home saying, and Google no, no, P52. You're saying, yeah. you're saying John is the last written you, book chronologically. Yes. Yes, John is the first written book. Do you know no, what you do John is the first one we have a manuscript uh, section of. Which of? Which of? Did you get uh, a John a chapter 18, okay. verse 31 or 33, I believe. Like or something a like. Yeah, yeah. Right? And that, that is either from the first century or the early second century. Yeah. So your base is all the information you can say whatever you want. Okay. Every information you're giving me yeah. is based on mm. a book written at least 100 years. Let's even go with okay. At least 100 years after. You know, I, no, the, the manuscript evidence is 100 years. But when the book was dated, it's less than 100 years. When was John dated? When, when was John dated? Wait. Of, 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 of the Bible that yeah. I know that right now that exists. Of the Bible yeah. that I know of, yeah. right now that exists. Yeah. Is at least two centuries after the death of Jesus. The fully the writing down of it, yes. The fragments of it. What people say. Oh my God. That's you breaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you breaking. So, what I'm saying to you, as the Bible written down right now, they have. Fracked, they. Oh, can you stop your hair or something? Yeah. So, what I'm saying the Bible written that we have right now yeah. is written yeah. later, uh, at least 100, 200 years ago. Yes, the first complete okay. copy we have written okay. down, yes. Okay. So, before that, it's transmitted by people speaking. I'm writing it down. Yeah. Oh, they might have written something. We know they wrote it down Where? because we have John so Peter too. Okay. What have did they write it down on? No, you should have. We should also have those that some translated. Do you know what papyrus so, is? What? Do you know what papyrus is? Listen, you're dragging around. No, I'm asking you're you not aware. You're not aware of how this works. That's the problem. Okay, so papyrus. Papyrus is collect uh, leaves that you intertwine and you effectively write on it. Okay. Now papyrus decades over decades, mm -hmm. so it doesn't last. Okay, it lasts for. So you don't have it then, isn't it? So we, like, yes, we don't have the original copies. That's it. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. But we know they wrote it down because the earliest that we have is P52, which is of John, which is either late first century or early second century. Okay. Now, ha, do, if you listen to scholars like Bart Ehrman, they will tell you the dates they think that these came about, and they'll go through different books because different books were written as, uh, or um, yeah, were written down at certain dates. So, for example, the earliest that we have are the letters of Paul, not the Gospels. The letters of Paul come around between 20 to 30 years after Jesus died. So Paul never met Jesus. So what, sorry? Paul never met Jesus then, isn't it? No, but he knew his brother he and he knew wrote, Peter and he knew... Even though he wrote yeah. half the New Testament, he's yeah. never met Jesus. He knew his brother. No, I'm not saying that. I'm yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah, you are admitted. correct. He had a vision of Jesus, yeah, but he had but never he seen never him. Met him. Yeah, that's correct. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, the entire information you're sharing with me yeah. is based on a copy of yeah. a copy of a copy of yeah. a copy. You're aware this same principle applies to the Quran? You're aware of it? It really... Okay, so... How, 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 do, how do people... No, they are written! Wake up, Muslims! Can you stand over here, please? I want to be on camera. You've got to wake up! He can be on camera as much as you want. But I can't listen to that guy. That's fine, that's fine. Wake up! Okay, listen. I'm going to be off camera. No, you can have him on camera. I'll stand here, I'll listen to you. You've got to come and stop and listen to him. Yeah, we've got homosexuality. So, with the Quran, the Quran wasn't written on papyrus. It was papyrus. It was written on parchment. Parchment is animal skin. And the reason why is because Islam. When Muhammad had died in 632, he had already conquered Arabia, the Arabian Peninsula. Yeah? So there was many places that you could go to have it written down. And they would write down in parchment because they had the resources to do that. The early Christian church didn't own anything. It was a very small sect in, in Jerusalem. Yeah? And they were also persecuted, but with Islam there wasn't that sense of persecution. So the earliest that we have in terms of the manuscript evidence for the Quran comes with uh, manuscripts such as the Sana manuscripts. And the Sana, Sana, which comes from a place in Yemen. Okay. Now, that Sana manuscript has, it's called a, a, a palimpsest. And a palimpsest is when you have one writing underneath that was then written over later at a later point. And the two different writings of the Quran differ, which means that what the, the, the writer thought the Quran should be differed from what either the same writer or a different writer so wrote. The, different okay, so what about the, the, Birmingham the Birmingham manuscripts are. Dated yep, to the absolutely. Life they are, they are. That's the latest discovery from 2015. There we go. Now, the Surah is. Now, the Sana manuscript is, a, is this large part of the Quran. The Birmingham portfolios are Surah 18, 19, and 20. That's all they are, right? The Birmingham. Do they differ? Sure. The Birmingham uh, manuscript pose a problem because their dating is either. Is the, the date that they give is 570 to 640, roughly. Somewhere there. 
Now the problem is, is that if you take the median dating, which is the average, you end up with about 610. Now the problem with that is that Muhammad only started having revelation in 610 from the hero cave, which means that there's a chance that these manuscripts predate the Prophet revealing them. How? Why? It's in the Quran. The Quran, the best. Are you aware? Oh, okay. So Let you're me, saying yep. to me yep. the Quran was revealed before the Prophet. Is that what you're trying to come up with? Well, technically, we know it was. In, let me explain. How? Because there are certain stories in the Quran that predate the Quran. So, for example, Jesus uh, breathing life into clay birds yeah. and Jesus talking from the, gray, uh, yeah. from the cradle yeah. to defend yeah. Miriam. Yeah. Those stories are found in uh, Gnostic Gospels a few hundred years after Jesus died that predate Islam. So, so those stories so, so were borrowed so in the Quran. So, yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. If Quran, the story existed if, if before the, story, the Quran. Hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah. If the story is there before the Quran, yeah. you're telling me that story cannot be revealed by God. It could have been. To the, to the, I, I'm not going to say that it couldn't have been. But you're saying, yeah. you're diverting and saying this story. I'm not diverting. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm no, trying to explain no, I'm a just, lot of things yeah, to you. Yeah, but yeah. What you're, the way you're explaining it is yeah. you're saying these stories yeah. were written down somewhere else. Well, we know they were, yeah. Of course. Well, yeah. I'm not saying they couldn't have been. I'm not disagreeing. Oh, that's fine. There are some stories that could have been written millions of years before that. That were the same revelation that are on the eternal. Tablets, but tablets. The, yeah, but if the Quran yeah. comes from God, mm. God is one, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. The Quran comes from God. God reveals something to the Prophet. Yeah. If the Quran was a copy of anything before it, yeah. it would have make you make the same errors as whatever that's before it. There, are, well, we, we know the that's error? the case. Okay, so for example. If you just ignore the Quran and you take Gnostic stories, like the uh, the How account, am I going to ignore the Quran? No, 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 just for now, just for now. Like, no, no, no just, 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 God bless, God bless. I'm yes. saying, listen, no, still, yes. let me explain this. Yes. So, uh, 100 or 200 years after Jesus died, yeah. there were Gnostics. Name, the My name's Chris. Chris. What's your name, sir? Ayub. Who? What's your name? Ayub. Ayub, okay. Um, so, Ayub, um, 100 or 200 years after Jesus died, there were Gnostics who were a particular heretical group who were writing stories about Jesus. And they, they said all sorts of things about him. They said he was a giant. They said he, uh, he killed children. There's all sorts of weird things. Yeah, um, some of the, huh? No, 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 no. But there are some that were incorporated. So for example, the story of Jesus breathing clay life into birds and Jesus speaking from the cradle. That is in an infancy gospel and that exact story is also in the Quran. So, if, so, so you believe Jesus brought the dead back to life, right? Yes, yes, Lazarus so, for example. So, yes. So I'm him being, so, so you yeah. accept he can he can bring the yes, dead back yes, to life, yes, yes. but you can't accept yeah. he can turn so, a clay. Into that's a, a good birth. point. The reason we don't accept it is because it came hundreds of years after from that, someone who never that, knew Jesus. Here's the problem that you yeah. have. Which how is the same can he accept? No, how can yeah. he accept mm. that he can do yeah. a, a whole human being back to life? Yeah. but you couldn't do a clay. No, no I'm not saying he couldn't. How could you, no, no, I'm not saying he couldn't. I'm saying if I'm saying if if you if if a story is missing from your book. Yeah. That doesn't make the Quran wrong. No, no, because you listen, yeah. if you reject a story and say, Oh, this story was in this place, mm. maybe we don't like that. Uh, no, wait, no, no. We don't we, like that listen, or this is uh, the way let me explain to you how, how, how the how church you know works. Let me, let me explain. The way that the church canonized scripture yeah. is we have to have apostolic uh, succession. You know how in Islam you have the Isnad, you have the chain of narration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Christianity <clears throat> You don't we have, have that. No well we sort of do but we don't we don't make a big deal out of it. We have uh, in order for a book to be considered canon, it has to have been written by someone who either knew Jesus or the apostles. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how we authenticate our scripture. So when the Gnostic writes something 200 years later, we go, okay, who was he? Did he know Peter? Did he know uh, the early apostles? Did he know Jesus? Did he, come, did he come from any of that? No? Then we don't consider it scripture. The problem is, is because we reject it because of that reason, which I think is a good reason. The Quran then borrows from it and says, "No, that is true." Quran comes from God. Okay, but then, but then you have to. Listen, just just because Christians reject a statement and because they didn't find acceptable or the yeah, but there's no reason to believe it. There's you can believe whatever you want because the thing is, what I believe and what you believe is different. Yeah, we disagree. Yeah, we so. You you basing your rejection of the Quran yeah. on a Bible, Amen. On, a, on, on a Bible that, that. that all you have of yeah. is a copy. It's, it's, yeah, it's but amazing. you only have copies as no, well. No, we have we have the Quran. Okay, where's the original? Show me the original. Show me the original Quran first written down. Show me Abu Bakr's uh, first written down Quran. Where is it? Abu Bakr's Quran yep. was passed on to yep. the different. Yeah, it was passed on to Uthman. So yeah. where's the Uthman copy? So you're saying well, Uthman's copy doesn't exist? No, so no, it doesn't. So, we don't know it. We don't. There are people who claim to have it, yeah. but every time it's investigated by historians, they go, no, it comes later. 
So, so, so no, no academic would, would so, yeah. believe you have so, Uthman's Quran. Here, here's the thing. Yeah. So the preservation of the Quran, yeah. so the preservation of the Bible is completely different. It is, yeah. You, you have a preservation based on a group of kings or priests or somebody important sitting down and saying, we think this should be a scripture. We Mate, think you don't want to go down that route because no. Uthman did that for hold you. On, hold on. But Uthman yeah. had the Sahaba, yeah. the companions of the yeah. Prophet, yeah. who memorized the Quran yeah. from yeah. memory. But they disagreed about it. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. In your hadith, hadith, in your, in your, in your hadith, I'll show you. In your, in your narrations, the, the story is this, is that Abu Bakr first written down the Quran, yeah? He had Said ibn Tabit, Muhammad's scribe, who knew Muhammad, write down the Quran. That was in 634, two years after Muhammad died. But then by 652, Uthman, the third, I think, Caliph, maybe fourth, yeah, he then heard arguments when they had gone further north into Damascus and into Monday Iran now, it was Kufa and, ba and Basra back then. They were, they were arguing over how the Quran is recited. And then Uthman says, okay, bring your copies from Abdullah ibn Masud and Ubay ibn Kab, who were companions of Muhammad, let me consider the master recited of the Quran. You can Google this and you look at yourself. And Uthman then took those copies and he, he made one copy that was in the Qureshi dialect, yeah? And then he burnt all other Quranic materials that did not conform to the Qureshi dialect. And then he gave, he made copies of that, that copy, uh, five copies to Basra, Kufa, Damascus, Medina, and uh, Mecca. We have none of those copies, but he destroyed Quranic materials. Do you understand? Yeah. Why would yeah. it be a Quranic material? I don't know. He didn't think it agreed with it. Hold on. If the Sahaba who were alive at the time of the Prophet, yeah, yeah. if the Sahaba who were alive at the time of the Prophet, yeah. and they, the Quran is read to them, and they among themselves decide this is the Quran that yeah. we heard from the Prophet, you're telling me someone else mispronounced it. In fact, it's a pronunciation that was a different. Mispronouncing something. It's, it's yeah, a different it? Quran. This is before Quran. This is Aruf. This is the different modes of the Quran. Yeah. So, him. They disagree him, on the modes. He was alive. And the, he lived with the Prophet. He met, he, Usman himself memorized the Quran, right? Yeah, so did Abdullah ibn Masud ibn Abi and Ka'ab, but they disagreed about what it was. So you're telling Usman yeah. and Abdullah ibn, ibn Ka'ab disagreed with the Quran? Yes, uh, Ubay ibn Ka'ab had 116 surahs in his codex. Yeah, yeah. And then Abdullah ibn Masud had, uh, well, it depends, either 110 or 112. That, that's a claim that you're making. That is a claim I am making. And one of the reasons why is because Surah Al-Fatiha, I think that's the first surah in the Quran, now, there was an argument based on how it's written, whether or not that's a part of the Quran or whether it's Dua, whether it's um, supplementation to Allah. And there was an argument about it. And the early uh, companions didn't agree. Yeah, I know it is today because, because Uthman said, yeah, it's in the Quran. My point is, if you're going to say, hang on a second, your Bible, it was, it was dictated by Listen, these people, no, I can say what well, happened to you as well. But here's what I'm trying to say to you. The Bible. The I have a sword to read to you as well. Yeah, 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 this is a Sahih from Sahih. Hey, hey, I'm going to listen to Sahih Abu Qarin. Okay. But the Bible, what I'm trying to say to you is, in the Bible, we have, for example, oh, uh, the verse about, about, it is the verse about the uh, God, uh, the Holy Spirit, God, and Jesus. You're referring to 1 John chapter uh, 5, verse 7. Yeah, so can you yeah. read that verse? Uh, well, I can do, but what I want to get across is you're correct yeah. so that that was a later edition. edition. Yes. So I'm trying yeah. to say to you. So you're aware that the Quran has that as well. Later edition? Yes. After Uthman. You're going to tell um, me now there was another. Uh, well, it where? may have come from Uthman, where, where, where but it edition? certainly came after the Prophet where, where, died. Where, where, which edition? So there are scholars, for example, Dr. Nikolai Sainai from Oxford University. Nikolai? I've just read his book. Nikolai Sainai. He, is, is he, okay, he knows Arabic. He, he, he's, he works at Oxford University I'm and he is a professor he? and he has a PhD in, in Islamic studies. So, a professor yeah. in Islamic studies, he's yeah. a Christian, right? uh, I think he's an atheist, I don't know, he's, yeah. I don't think he's, he's a Muslim. Christian. But he's not a Muslim, right? Yeah. He's a Christian, he says... Well, he's not oh, Christian, he doesn't, think... he doesn't believe what I believe. Oh, fine, he yeah. believes in... By atheism, I don't know, I, whatever he, I have no yeah. idea because I've never heard of him, right? Sure. So, I'm going to say a professor who doesn't believe or has and nothing to do with it is saying, oh, I think this was addition. Yeah. It doesn't just say its opinion. The reason why is because the Arabic gives clues. For example, you've probably heard that the Arabic in the Quran, it, it has like a poetry to it. Yeah? There are parts in the Quran where it suspiciously breaks from that poetry with a much longer Arabic that doesn't correlate with the rest of the surah. There's yeah. one addition to the Quran, yeah. one verse, yeah. the one sentence addition. Yeah. The Quranic system will break. What you have well, I think the better argument is that yeah. parts yeah. of it have been lost. No, but, nothing yeah. has been lost. Nothing. So, Ubay ibn Ka'b had 116 surahs. What? Ubay ibn Ka'b, one of the master recitals of the yeah, companions which, of Muhammad. Which surahs? Bring the let surahs. Me, let, me read this to you. let me read this. Okay, you have a surahs of Ubay ibn Ka'b? Yeah, actually. Which um, 
Which okay. suda? Which suda? Which suda does he have that uh, was good the night? Okay. Should not be. So let me tell you the reference for this first. This is Sahih Al Bukhari, uh, four nine eight seven, and it is Sahih. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. You can read it in Arabic. This is Sunnah.com. <coughs> uh, narrated Anas bin Malik. Daifa bin al Yaman came to Uthman at the time when the people of Sham and the people of Iraq were waging war to conquer Armenia and Abajayan. Hudaifa was afraid that their people of Sham and Iraq had differences in the recitation of the Quran. So he said to Uthman, O chief of the believers, save this nation before they differ about the book, the Quran, as the Jews and the Christians did before. So Uthman sent a message to Hafsa saying, Send us the manuscripts of the Quran so we may compile the Quranic materials. So Hafsa had the manuscripts. Yeah, yeah, from Abu Bakr. Yes, okay, this is about 652. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. So that we may compile the Quran materials in perfect copies and return the manuscripts to you. Hafsa sent it to Uthman. Uthman then ordered Zayd bin Tabit, Abdullah bin Al Zabir, Sayyid bin Al Anas, Abdullah Rahman bin Haith bin Hisham to rewrite the manuscripts in perfect copies. Uthman said to three Quraysh men, in case you disagree with Zayd bin Tabit on any point in the Quran, then write it in the dialect of Quraysh. The Quran was revealed in their tongue. They did so. And when they had written many copies, Uthman returned the original manuscripts to Hafsa. Uthman sent to every Muslim province one copy of what they had copied and ordered that all other Quranic materials, whether written in fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies, be burned. Okay, yeah, Read the Arabic. Last bit. Yeah, so, so what's the issue here? So the issue is, is that he had many different Quranic materials that were considered part of the Quran. It wasn't, it wasn't considered it was, part of the Quran. It was, it was considered no, by the way. Listen, if, if you, when, when Islam expanded, Islam came from Quraysh, right? Yeah. It came through them. Yeah. The, the Quran was revealed while they were alive yeah. there, yeah. physically available. Yeah. Now, if, now, with the expansion of these areas, you have people reciting the Quran different, yeah. in a different way or slightly different dialect. No, no, dialect. it was completely okay. different. Our okay, so if you're saying yeah. these people who were in the furthest or whatever corner yeah. had a slightly different... No, no, no. You need to, to you understand what I'm saying. Because, yeah. I, I, I can show you this, but uh, Abdullah ibn Masud and Nubayim had a different surah no, amounts. No, no, no. The Sahaba... Yeah. Listen, that they are the Sahaba. The Sahaba yeah. who lived with the Prophet... They did live with the Prophet. ...have a different yeah. Quran themselves, like a different right. chapter. They had different, they had different codexes they, that they had written themselves. And this is after Muhammad died, this is after Abu Bakr compiled the first uh, written copy. But when they we were in, uh, in uh, Sham and Iraq, when they were further up north, they themselves had different codices of the Quran. And they disagreed because they had different surahs. Ubay ibn Kab 116, and Abdullah ibn Masud had 110 and 112. Numbers, okay, you're, you're talking about numbers, right? Yeah, well, no, entirely different surah amounts. They're entire where, chapters. Where are yeah. the entire chapters? Okay, yeah. if you say yeah. this person had a different surah to this person, then you yeah. will at least have yeah. the surah yeah. being somewhere. Where's, yeah. the, where's the different surah? Where's the surah? Right, right, right. So the, the issue that came up was what do you consider Quran and what do you not? Yeah. Obay Ibn Kab thought that more of things should be considered Quran, and that double remember in the search, but no, that's not Quran. What what Ubay Ibn Kab concluded. So yeah. two people yeah. you tell me two people disagreed, right? Yes. Let's say, let's say to you let's, they have disagreed because I don't know whether everything I've told you, go home and look it up. Okay. But what I'm trying to say to you the Sahaba who yeah. live with the Prophet, all of them, yeah. did they disagree? Yes, they disagreed. All of them. No, so no, not all of them. All of them. I'm, not, I'm not saying all of them. Oh, I'm, so telling, I'm telling so you that. You telling me yeah, this I'm telling two you two. People. Two. I'm okay. giving you two. So yeah. you said this two people yeah. disagreed. Okay. Okay. When that happened, what happened? What happened? What happened? Yeah. You read the surah, right? No, no. When that happened, yeah. what happened? Uthman sent out and he said, "Look, they're differing about the Quran. Okay. So let's get all the manuscripts how do you think together." Did that? How do you think because did it tells you in the surah. How did he do it? How did he do it? He collected the different Quranic materials. So he would have collected Abdul Rahman He would have collected every single Quran. This is what he would have done. He yeah. collected all the people. Yeah, and he would have got Abu Bakr's one he that was would've... under Hafsa's yeah. pillow. Yeah. And then have the the fat. Yeah. The fat that means people who memorize the Quran. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he would have had those as well. Quran. Absolutely. To read the Quran. Yep. And they all once they all read the Quran. They didn't all agree. agree. They all agree. How can you agree if it's you consensus. It's consensus. But, Quran. Yeah, but it, it was a consensus, but people had to compromise because Ubay Ibn Ibn Kab says he was devastated. On what? On how on what is Quran well, and what is it? Well show me okay, then okay. which which yeah. uh, which okay. You're you're claiming Ubay yeah. had extra of Quran, mm. which is two chapters extra, apparently, right? Well, I'm what do you mean apparently? Yeah, it was yeah, true. Yeah, but I'm, of course I'm saying apparently because you're the one claiming it. Yeah. Right? I'm, I'm not going to say, oh yeah, well, fantastic, you, you told me that, I, I, I agree. Do you, do you expect me to do that? Yeah, yeah. No, you, so I'm saying to you, you seem to say Ubay has two extra souls, right? 
Yeah. Find the two suitors and show me. I think we, I think we so may. You don't have a need. Um, you, you, it's a claim. Well, it's not me. It's you. you. It's yes. You who you doesn't have it. No. You because you no, no, made no, the claim. This is your narration. This isn't what. This no, isn't what I say. say no, that, no, 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 not in that way. The only reason I read that. You said there's two extra. No, no. Listen. Where are they? Listen. Where are they? Where does it say there's two extra? I think they may have been lost. Okay. Where are they? But today, either way, either way, maybe we have them. But they're not considered part of the Quran today. Yeah, well, well, right. Here's the question though. Yeah. You are saying there's two extras. Right? In Ubay ibn Kab's copy. Where? Where does it say? In your narrations. Yes. Which one? You read to me the Sahaba. Yeah, you're going to make me go on a wild goose no, hunt for narrations. Find it, because listen, if you make a claim, you better find the reference. Because if you're asking me to read something when I go home, I need the reference to look up, don't I? Just, just type in how many stories did no, Ubay ibn Kab's I'm not going to look at Google and listen to what Google says because Google can give Come me on, a million you're, different you're places. You're desperately trying to get yeah, out of this. Find me, find me because you're the one who gave the reference. Hey, listen, if you bring something up, give me the reference. I gave you the reference no, to this surah. No, you told me mm. that what happened, which I didn't yes. disagree with. You okay. told me okay. Osman collected the Quran. Yeah. He, he because asked they were the disagreeing Sahaba. about it. He asked the Sahaba, yeah, there was a disagreement in the okay. far corners. Yeah, yeah. And then he asked the Sahaba yeah. what is considered the Quran. This is the Quran. Okay. Yeah. And now yeah. you're telling me Ubay had a different Quran. Yeah. So I'm asking you, okay, if Ubay had a different Quran or different two surahs, where are they? You see, if I bring this up, you're not going to. Where are they? Because the surahs you should be you should be able to show me, not uh, say it. Say someone said this about so and so, right? Is this in Hadith Bukhari? Is it in uh, uh, Muslim? Which is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Trying to find a Muslim site that talks about it. Totally fine. Uh, uh, you can find it. Maybe maybe we'll find it next well, no, I can. I've, I've got it already. But it's it's, it's going to be anti-Islamic websites that show you it. And I'm trying to that's going to show me what, what, well yeah because well, they, they put it out it to Muslims of course they're going to make it well it comes from your own history well show me yeah, because then at least they will say Bukhari is such and such isn't it how about that okay even if it's anti-Islamic at least show me which I don't know if this is Muslim or not but this is the first which, one which reference it's called educated it's not, Muslim it's not Muslim it's absolutely not Muslim well, it's called educated Muslim I don't know educated Muslim yeah show me then show me you don't know of course I, I can write I can write educated Christian Table of contents, the version of Abdullah ibn Masud. Well, that's one of them. He had like 110, okay. 112. Okay, where? Quoting Sahih al Bukhari. Oh, yeah, this is just telling you the four people. Muhammad said you have to learn the Quran from four people, yeah? And one of them was Ibn Masud, uh, Salim, the freed slave of so, Abu so Hudayfa, Ubay, and Mudai bin Jabal. Okay, what's the reference to the disagreement? Uh, da, da, da. By Allah, there is none who was about to be worshipped. There is a surah revealed in Allah's book, but I do not know the place that it was revealed. And there was no verse revealed in Allah's book, but I don't know who it was revealed. And it was better than... I know it better than somebody who knows Allah's book better than I. And he is at the place the camels in reach. I would go to him. So he's claiming he knows the Quran very well. Um, it will hopefully give the verses. Nothing. Educated Muslim from some random thing. You're the one Controversial who book of Ibn Masud is just one such variant. Ubay Ibn's Kaab Codex has 116 surahs. You're saying there's two extra surahs in the Quran that's missing because Abdullah Ibn, was it Ubay? Abdullah Ibn Masud Abdullah had 110 and 12. Ubay Ibn Kaab had 116. So I'm saying if, if that's the case, then there will be a reference in the hadith yes. that says Hadith uh, Bukhari and such and such or uh, Sahih uh, Muslim such and such. Give me the reference. Yeah, the yeah, and it's amazing. Google. Google can give you anything. I can write. I can write Google. Yeah, but, yeah, but you said I'm lying. My point is, is that listen, I'm telling you to go home and look this up. You're the one. Listen. Yeah, but, I bring you a okay. reference. Listen, if I bring you a reference, here's, for example, yeah. you will claim Jesus died for our sins, right? Yeah. I will tell you he didn't die for our sins. Why? Because the book of Ezekiel says you cannot inherit sin. Mm. Chapter 20, the, the verse uh, 4 onwards, right? You cannot inherit sin. So you're going to tell me you either agree with the book of Daniel, uh, Ezekiel, or you know you think that's disagree. Uh, but at least I'm telling you a reference, right? I'm telling you a reference. So I'm telling you Jesus didn't need to die for me, right? Mm. Another point, Jesus didn't need to die for me because the Lord's Prayer says I can get salvation by forgiving sin to me, against the people who sin against me. That's again reference. But you are claiming a point and then telling me to go on a wild goose chase, randomly find that reference. Because it's, it's an important point you made. At least I was expecting there'll be a Have you watched my debate with Muhammad Ijab? 
Yeah. You debated that? Yes, have you seen it? This is Ahmadinejad. Because this is the first time I've been here. You, you so, know Ahmadinejad? Ah, you know. Okay. You know well, he confirms what I was saying. Okay. He, he, he knows full well what I'm so saying. You, are, you debate Ahmadinejad. Where yeah. can I find it? Uh, on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Go on YouTube, search for Dalla channels. Debate. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ahmadinejad uh, and Chris. My name's Chris. Okay. okay. So, oh wait, who was Greg then? I thought somebody said it was Greg. Uh, that was the guy you were talking to before. Yeah, the South African guy. So here's the thing. Yeah. When I say to you these references, I mean... He says right? it's alive. <laughs> So anyway, nice to meet you. you nice to meet you. The um, have a look at uh, Ubay Ibn Kab's codex. I can I can look it up, but if yeah. you haven't got a reference, there is yeah, not much that's there. fine. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I'm happy to leave it at that. Yeah. But my understanding is that. The Quran has not been perfectly preserved. There have been an edit. Here, for example, but when we go, just 10 million people yeah. memorize yeah. the Quran yeah. each year. Across the world, you find yeah, yeah, million. Million. My friend, right? Yeah. Listen, listen. There are people if, who recite if, the Bible. It doesn't, doesn't, no, doesn't mean it's perfectly okay. preserved. No, a, you don't recite yeah, it. Because yeah. the thing is about the Bible is, you agree that there is verses that were in the margin that are in later. Yeah, the same okay. thing with the Quran. I can find so manuscripts. I can, I can find you manuscripts that don't conform to the Quran yeah, today. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to say to you. The silent manuscript doesn't reference. conform. Yeah. So when you say a reference, yeah. you say, okay, these manuscripts okay, were deleted manuscripts. from it, yeah. right? From the Quran. And I'm saying to you, those were the Sahaba who lived with the Prophet in their lifetime, yeah. right? If someone in, let's say, on the other side of the world decides to write the Quran in a different way, yeah. and the Sahaba look at it and they say, okay, this is not Quran. Of course they have a right to say because these people were the companions. Yeah, but they disagreed. It wasn't as if they all no, universally no, 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 no. said this case. Yeah. If So the manuscript you're talking about, for example, this, what did you say? The Sana manuscript. The yeah. So that manuscript, which you could say, oh, these Sahaba, uh, who were the companions of the Prophet, were vouching for that manuscript, for example, and it was rejected. Then at least, then it's worse well, for me. We, we no, don't no. know because... No, no, hold yeah, on. Yeah. Something then at least it would be worse for me to look it up. Because you know when you say, if, if I say to you there's a group of people around here, and these people live with this Prophet, who received the message. They know the message more than anyone else. They wrote it in their life. They memorized it, they read it, right? Someone received Islam and their furthest corner of the empire. They, they hear people speak and they're like, okay, this I think is my Quran, I will write it down. Now, that Quran comes back to these guys and they say, no, this was never revealed to us. Or the thing that the guy claimed the Quran to be, right? Listen, listen, listen. So, then you will say, yeah. this, if that would have had authority of any kind, if you said the Sahaba split and half of them agreed or half disagreed, or you said there were prominent Sahaba who listen, agreed listen. with this one, that's you're, what I'm you're, say to you. You're going to have problems when you go home and you look at this up. I'm going to have a problem, but you, Chris. Listen, listen, other Muslims remember, have confirmed what I've said. No, other Muslims confirmed. No, who are very knowledgeable. No, however knowledgeable they are. So what I'm saying is this. Reference is Go important. home. Uh, yeah, yes. So I'm going to say, Ubay Ibn Kab. Would you want me to give you the Ubay Ibn Kab codex? Like, I can't. So I'm going to say, Ibn I can give you references to it, but generally, spe said, generally said, speaking, said, Muslims said, won't want to talk about it because it's not, it's not no, comfortable for Muslims to talk about. Why do you not know about it? Oh, why would I need to know about it? Because what, the, 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 the early Shahaba disagreed what was in the Quran? No, the Sahaba disagreed on a point. And then the on Sahaba what was in the Quran? No, someone in the Sahaba, one, two people disagreed. The greatest reciters that Muhammad entrusted after he died. Yes, oh. Abdullah ibn Masud and Dubai ibn Kab. They were two of the four. Okay. So they disagree. They disagree. Yes. Then there's other Sahabis. Okay. Okay. But my so point is, my is how do you know point. which one is correct? But here's the point I'm yeah. asking you. If you have a point about the Quran, I yeah. think it was the reference to this disagreement. Yeah. How many people said uh, what Ubay said? Ubay said, "Oh, these two have been." I deleted. showed you a quote. No, I showed you, you showed a source. Me, no, you but showed it me isn't. Yeah. What, how the consensus was arrived at. Yeah. How the and they burned Quranic manuscripts. No, it's not Quranic because of course it says in the text it says Quranic manuscripts. Yeah, but of people who are the furthest point. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but they burn parts of the Quran. Yeah. It's not part of the Quran. It says it Quranic manuscripts. Yeah. Yeah. So then you would admit that the rest of the Quran is the correct Quran. And that extra part was burned. That's what you well, would admit. Well, I would admit that Uthman standardized the Quran into 114 surahs and he destroyed anything that didn't go to his. So, 
So yeah, but my point is, you're, you're trying to say the Bible's been corrupted. I'm like, yeah, but Uthman burns it's stuff. It's beyond corrupted. But I mean, it's beyond corrupted. Why is it beyond? Because we believe the message has been perfectly preserved. The message has been perfectly preserved. But, uh, but there's a difference. You agree there's a difference it's in like The text so is one the variance in the text, a, yeah. Someone else will say B. I mean, completely yeah. opposite. What you would have to then show me is that that was the intent that God wanted to arrive uh, at with his message. And I would reject that and I would say no. In other words, you can say uh, there's a there's a, a particular verse in Numbers that talks about how many chariots there were in the battle. Yeah, yeah. And then in a different book it says a different number. Yeah. And I'm like, well, was that the intent that God wanted to convey? So you and I would argue no. So you're going to intent. Of course, that's the entire point. Yeah. So, hey, so how do you know the intent of God? We know the intent of God through the in inherent meaning and structure of the scripture. No. So for example, the intent is that God had an old covenant with the Jewish people. Those Jewish people rebelled against God and that he sent his Messiah through Jesus Christ who atoned for all sin. If it's one God inspired in all of them, the message should stand the same. Numbers cannot that be message the same. is the same. Yeah, all of the us believe that. cannot be different. If the same God... Yeah, but how do you know that's what his intent was? No, no, I'm not saying... Listen, you're saying his intent. Yes. I'm saying to you, if he's the one inspiring these people, yeah. their numbers cannot contradict each other. Why? How? Listen, I, there's one God, right? You agree yep, with one yeah, God? Yeah. Okay, so if one God tells you A, yep. and one God tells him A, okay, A, so, just no, no, okay. I'm not saying B. Both of you, he told A. Right? Yeah. Same event, same thing about every point. He's telling you both. So you're okay, telling so me if you what, both what do, have two different versions of yeah. it, then same What do Christians seven. believe about scripture? How do we think scripture comes about? Yeah, but my friend, you need to understand this if you want to make a point. Oh, God inspired you. Is that what yes, you're yes. So, Holy Ghost inspired you. Right. But, if but who wrote you, it? Who wrote it? Hold on. If Holy Ghost yeah. inspired you, yeah. why is he inspiring you to different directions? We don't believe that it does. Wait, the numbers are different. Okay, so do you think that humanity is completely overtaken by the Spirit in all instances and cannot make errors? I don't even know about the Spirit. The thing about you, you're going yeah. in it. You're trying I'm to saying, critique something you don't yeah, understand. No, you, yeah. yeah, because you are having the problem. I'm, I'm, saying, I would, I'm trying to explain if, to you what it is. If the Holy is. Spirit yeah. inspires you, yeah. even the Holy Spirit you talk about is inspiring you yeah. to write a document. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he inspires your friends and other people and some other people in a different place yeah. and you all about the same event right three or four different directions we don't yeah well at least two opposite numbers two opposite okay numbers. yeah in a coffee yeah. yeah yeah so you can then tell me oh the holy spirit has inspired them different yeah. no no Listen. He's finding the same, Listen. but they decided to be different. So we, have a say, we have a saying in Christianity that anything good that comes from us is from the Spirit. And anything bad from us is just us. In other words, when someone makes a mistake, it is not the Spirit working so in them, but it is the man. it's a mistake in the Bible, isn't it? In the text, yes. In the text. So, then is, so a text that has a mistake, how can I put my salvation in that? And I don't know. How can you put your salvation in the so Quran that also has that? Where's the mistake? The Sinai manuscript. There is an underlying text that is different from the Quran you have today. No, no, it's very simple. Which is what you've gone back onto without reference. That's what I'm saying. No, no, uh, you've been saying to me from the beginning till now. What? You, yeah, but you can't just. That's what I'm saying to I'm you. Can Google this forever. I dispelled that because I told you if the Sahaba who lived with the Prophet agreed on the Quran that's currently available, which they did, then there is no extra Quran. Obayan oh. and Kab disagreed about what the crown was. Oh my goodness. Huh? So you want to go what? back? You want to get reversed back now? You want to reverse back? Yeah, but, yeah, but you, you see, disagree. my friend, it's going to be disagree. very embarrassing when you go home and you look you're at this and you go, oh, no, that actually was a thing. No, you're the one who's telling me that the Holy Ghost has inspired people in different directions. No, I never said that. You well, said that. How is it? I said to you, the Holy, Holy Ghost walks through us to produce truth. And then, but there's also a person he, involved. Do you understand? Okay, so the person made a mistake. Yes. Which means the Bible has mistakes of human beings. In text. Yeah. Yes. So if you have the Bible, human beings writing your story for you, and they have mistakes, they disagree, which bit, how would you know which bit of the Bible is mistakes of the human being, and which bit is not the mistake? To be confirmed from God or through God's how? expression. How? So for example, the person of Jesus Christ. He himself performed miracles and he himself validated what he was saying. So, and therefore, when he we. Said, listen, when we what Jesus, anything Jesus said, we don't disagree, right? We're not well, no, you, you do, because you just you make it up differently 600 no, years later. We don't disagree with what he said. Okay, so you're, 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 you're trusting a manuscript that comes 600 plus years later over a manuscript that was written yeah, according to scholars in the first century. It's superior, it's more Why clear. Why is it superior? It's, listen, it's more clear. It wasn't even written when he was there. Who? It was, listen, the, the Quran was not written in the time of Jesus. But the what time of Jesus? 
the Was Jesus the alive day? in 600 AD? No, no, no. As, in a, as a person so, on earth? So you're saying, what, listen, what the Quran says about Jesus is that that's what you disagree with. The point we're on <sighs> hasn't gone up to. The sign of Palimpsest. Palimpsest is a document that has two know, layers of writing. Part of a seismic cache. Mate, it gives you references to it. On Wikipedia. My God. Okay, I'll go. I'll find. Are like, go you in the kidding me? References. On Wikipedia, you're going to show me your evidence is from Wikipedia. Okay, you know it has Chris, sources. You're amazing. Though. I can't believe. I can't believe. You know what I was surprised about? Wait, wait. First time I arrived mate, here, this is I find the though. most guy, the guy with the most knowledgeable, supposedly, <sighs> okay. of this people, of this group, and you are telling me your reference okay. is Wikipedia. Sana one and the origin of the Quran. Is that from, is that from from Wikipedia? It's references as a source. From yeah. Wikipedia. And it's a source outside from of Wikipedia. Wikipedia. You yeah. are really Hello, having friend. a laugh. Wikipedia. I can edit so, today. You're telling me it's Wikipedia. a source, dude. It has what a source? link to it. What source? Literally, what source? it's called <laughs> Sana and the Origins of the Quran. Dar is in Berlin. It's by a German author who studies Arabic, probably. Who wrote a about German the... author who studies Arabic, probably. You have no connection. If to I Islam. give you sources and you're going to reject all you of them, you haven't got sources because you, all you've got is you've got Wikipedia. Okay, let's Chris. find something outside right. of Wikipedia. Enjoy your life. Chris. Wait, wait. Let me get something outside I don't think of Wikipedia. You have anything to give me? History of information. The Sana poem script. The only known extent. Textual again, tradition. Again, How about that again, one? Do you accept that one? The Sana manuscript. All right, That's by Shabi Ali, an Islamic no, no, scholar. I can listen to him. I can oh wow! To Wait, the Sana manuscript. Play was it. the Quran perfectly yeah. preserved? I'm gonna look for wow, it. Wow! It's almost as if no. I was telling the truth the no. whole time. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. You were just you, questioning every source no, I gave you. I'm, no, I'm I just gave you this no, source, this and you refused. Okay, come on, dude. You're intentionally playing the fool in order to get out of this. Go home and read this. I'm going to read it. Good. Good. There's no saying. But don't say I didn't give you a source. I gave you many sources. When I said to you, look. When I said to you, I came to you, I mm. said to you, you, you disagree with the Quran, give me the chapter. Okay, yes. And you said, you don't have it. 116 Wait, chapters. Hold on. Hold on. Ubay said, Ibn Kaab, no, 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 go look hold it up. Hold on, hold on. Said there's Muslims two acknowledge chapters. this hold in on. Ubay Ibn Kaab's codex. Hold on, hold on. You said there's two extra chapters. Which has been validated by many Muslims in this part. Are you going to listen? No, my, the point is, is you're okay. trying to get out of it. Let's leave it at that, because right. I don't okay. think you're going to agree. Have a nice day then. All right, take care. Wrap up. Wrap up. I knew you were there. Um, so, this shows the ignorance of a lot of the Ummah in Islam. They don't understand their own history and they don't understand their own sources. That man, that Muslim, was trying to explain how Uboy ibn Kab did not have his own codex that had 116 surahs. That's not true. We know full well, according to Islamic history, there was 116 surahs in Uboy ibn Kab's codex. I gave him sources, he refused to accept them because they weren't Muslim sources. And then when I showed him Muslim sources for talking about the Quran, he rejected that because he was from Wikipedia. And then when I showed him things outside of Wikipedia, from Sh uh, Shabi Ali in a YouTube video, he went, oh, well, maybe I'll consider it. They are doing everything they can to get out of this. They don't want to acknowledge their own history because they know it contradicts the idea that the Quran is properly preserved. And it's a shame. More Muslims need to be aware of this. Muhammad al has confirmed that Ubayyim Kaab had his own codex for 116 surahs. The Da'is accept it, but the average Ummah doesn't. The average Muslim doesn't know. And that's a shame that you come to Jesus Christ instead. God bless. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Cut.